just received my new Bortec heads in the mail. Well, new to me anyway. Just received those in the mail, and I had these headers sitting around I bought a while back. And I'm finally trying to put all the pieces together and just make sure everything fits. So one of the big pieces to the puzzle here is these Excel high-performance header plugs. Um, I'll list a part number for those up. The thing about these is they are about an eighth inch shorter than a stock plug. So they give you just that little bit much more room on these headers. So these are Headman headers I picked up off of JEGS. And in their description, they said that they only worked with um, angle plugs. But as you can see, these, pl th these heads have straight plugs. So I was kind of concerned about that, but I tested the passenger side header and I've got the driver side header on here right now. And it seems like it should fit okay. And I don't have header bolts right now. So I did the right thing and I went to dad's uh, bolt bin and I found the I found these and then I I put a nut on there and I used the nut to squeeze the squeeze the um, flange down there. So now I can take some used plug wires and just see how well they fit. I've also got some Jegs brand uh, header wrap over in the house and I'll probably wrap these closer to time. But I need to get some heat into them either with the motor running or or with a torch. And burn this coating off because that's just that's just a shipping coating you can see it's already starting to chip off here on the other header so I'm gonna find some old um, plug wires off my 302 <laughs> and I'll put those on here and see you know what we're looking at there so I've thrown a couple of used old spark plug wires off of something my golf dad's tractor threw them on here and so far, we're doing really good on clearance. I don't know how you're supposed to tighten that spark plug and cross that bridge when we get to it. But this one is the tightest by far, but I can still get my finger in between the end of the plug and the tube. So I think if I keep that, if I keep an eye on that and I keep it clocked right and I have this wrapped, that should be good. And if it's not, we can give her, give her a little ding, you know. Yeah, I was really worried about this. It was one of those things that, you know, when you're trying to fall asleep, it's just bugging you in the back of your mind. But I think it will work out just fine. So that's one less weight on my shoulders. Now I just have to unbolt this header. I'll throw the other header on there, make sure that we have adequate clearance there. And yeah. I'll list all the part numbers for everything in the video and in the description. So if anybody's running into a similar problem. Again, all of these parts are going on my 1986 Chevrolet Camaro. Right, she's sitting out here. Oh yeah, there it is. So this is, for all you that don't know, this is Project White Snake, which is currently, uh, well, yeah, she's she's a wee bit empty there. We're gonna change that. So here's a quick little comparison of the 416S plug that's going in the Vortec heads and these AC Delco, whatever that is, that go in the Caballero. And keep in mind that's a 4.3 liter V6. Um, which has the shorter thread depth. So these plugs are a little different and it's kind of like comparing apples and oranges, but when you put them when you put them together like this this one is a little shorter. I don't know. I've got some regular Vortec head spark plugs around somewhere. I might post a picture of those or something just to show you, but uh yeah, I'm definitely happy with with what I can do there. So I went ahead and slapped the old passenger uh, header on there. And it's even better than the driver's side. Look at this. The, the front primary tube was, you know, the trouble before. And it's it's got all manner of room in there. And the rest of them are the same story. So that's, that's, that's great. That's fantastic. I know I won't be running into issue burning spark plugs and 
if I do run into issues with it, I'm sure there's other solutions, you know, porcelain, uh, porcelain plated plug boots and all kind of shit I can try, kind of stuff I can try <laughs> to, uh, get that going. But yeah, those headers look pretty sharp. Um, I'll update you guys on whether or not they actually, you know, clear the car, but the reviews seemed pretty good. What was crazy was it's actually harder to find a set of headers <laughs> for a Camaro with a 350 than it was to find headers for a Camaro with an LS. Like, you, you search, you know, headers for a 86 Camaro, it kept giving me all these LS swap headers, you know, for putting a, a 48 or a 53 or a 60 in there. You know, it, was, it kind of blew my mind that the aftermarket support was more there for the LS swap stuff than it was for a stock replacement. Yeah, I know these these heads never came in a, in a Camaro, but it's still a small block Chevy, which came in Camaros. So, you know, it just kind of surprised me, made me think. Another thing that occurred to me about this whole operation is that I haven't even put the gaskets on yet. So, in theory, in theory, when I put the gaskets on, that will increase the space between the head and the headers, you know, kick it out just, you know, a millimeter or three, and, uh, you know, in theory, increase my, uh, my clearance. So, bingo, we're off to the races. You ever hear that song, uh, Trash You Women, on the country music station? You know, the, the guy talks about how his mom and his dad... Tried to raise him right, make him sophisticated. Well, I kind of feel like the same thing is going on with me. Because, you know, I started out life pretty good. I was an A student, you know, in the elementary grades. And now I've got myself an El Camino, Camaro, a mullet, and race car parts sitting next to a racing lawnmower. I mean, where did I go wrong? Well, I... On that note, thank everybody. Thank you for watching. Um, I hope you learned something today. Thank you for coming along with me. I hope to see you next time. Thank you.